Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. Thanks for joining me for this unannounced live stream. I apologize that I didn't give uh, notice. These days I'm at home. Uh, so my wife left with my daughter and um, I took this opportunity to, to uh, do a live while they were away because it's the only time that it's quiet in the house. So if you're out there, please say hi. Let me know that you're that you can hear the sound. Hopefully we don't have any issues like we were having last time where the sound was cutting out, things were slowing down um, with the internet signal. So if you're there, say hi. I want to say hi back to you. Just let me know what the signal is like. Anyway, today I'm gonna be or tonight, I'm gonna be reviewing and demoing audio modeling's swam trumpets. Now this is a bundle. Um, although it's part of a larger bundle called Swam Brass, there's just too many instruments to to show. And uh, the trumpets bundle comes with five different instruments: the piccolo, trumpet in C, trumpet in B flat, which is your standard trumpet, flugelhorn, and flugelhorn in E flat, which is the lower one. I'm going to quickly go through the sounds, and then I'm going to focus on trumpet in B flat, um, just because there's a lot to cover. So here is piccolo. Make sure, make sure I have my expression set. Trumpet in C. B flat. Flugelhorn. and flugelhorn at E-flat. All right, it's such an amazing product. When I heard it, I could not stop smiling and laughing this is a performer's instrument. I mean, yes, you can use it in uh, in your DAW, but this is something that you use live as an actual instrument, you know, a solo instrument. I was blown away at the realism, at the expression, and at the ease of use. So this is the user interface. It is miles ahead of the previous versions of uh, their saxophones, um, violins, and all that which still looks nice, but this is so much easier to understand. It's easier in the eyes. I love the layout and I want to talk about that and some more right now, but isn't this beautiful? It has a very simple look. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot on it, but it's, it's very clean. Um, I like the, the use of very, very few colors. Hey guys, thanks for joining. So up here on the top, we have our presets. Preset menu. Um, I'm going to quickly go through that. This is the initial sound. This is like the basic trumpet. The, this is incredible because you have um, feedback, as you'll notice right here. As I play, you get the, the um, valves changing. I used to play trumpet in junior high, um, part of high school. I got actually pretty good at it, but... It's, so it's cool seeing the, the, the notes play back to me. But initial trumpet. So this is the default, and it sounds great as it is. However, they have inspirational presets that take advantage of um, this program's ability to change sounds. Like you can customize it to the way you want it, down to the timbre of the sound, the pitch, um, the whether it's a valve or... or, or um, 
what is or a slide i'll get into that right now but it's th there's just so much you can do with this so th this next one is balkan trumpet which i don't know how to play in the balkan style but it's sort of like mysterious folk sounding I want you to notice down here how you'll see the half valve, um, half valve transition. Whenever you slightly press in the valve of the trumpet, you get this smeared sound. It's like very unclear, and uh, yeah, I think smeared is the sound that I'm looking for. And it's not clear, and that's it's amazing that they're able to reproduce this. By the way, those of you who are new with uh, new to audio modeling this is not sample based meaning they don't have some uh trumpet player in a recording studio playing b flat or c or whatever and recording that note at different dynamics this is there are no samples involved in this they're actually recreating um the physical response or the the physics of a trumpet down to the pitch timbre um, the ring, all those, there's so many, fa uh, those, there's so many factors to the sound of a trumpet and they nail all of it. Okay. Classical. And I like that when you play quickly, down here you see the articulation, semi-staccato. It's just automatic. That's why I say this is a player's trumpet. When you play the notes closely together, you get it turns into legato. So the notes are, they sort of bleed into the next one. When you play softly, I mean, when you play at a low velocity, and I don't mean slowly in tempo, I mean... You're not hitting the key hard. It automatically slides to the next note the way a real trumpet player would do it, where you hear sort of the the little um, the little steps between the notes. It's very easy to use. Um, Another cool thing is that the pitch wheel, rather than going up by two uh, two semitones or a whole tone um, up and down, it goes it by default it's set to an octave, so you get that little. You can do it really slowly, and it's gonna follow your timing. Then the mod wheel controls vibrato. As you go higher, it starts turning into a shake. And you, you can see that down here, it's showing you what kind of vibrato you have. The expression wheel is going to control the expression, the so uh, or if you have a keyboard like I like a control, um, control S keyboard from Native Instruments, your control wheel is like a ribbon down here, so I can control it like that with the hand or with a pedal. I have the pedal right now. Does it have brass? Um, Edwin, this is a brass instrument. A trumpet is a brass instrument, so yes, it does have brass. Okay, and then right here we have our uh, pan pot, so you can pan it to the left or the right. That's pretty pretty simple, pretty standard. Master volume. And then um, I love this image of the trumpet. The reason they have that here is because you can add a mute to it, 
different types of mute. So this is a straight mute. I should have left that for later, sorry. Um, here's another ja uh, preset, it's the jazz. Sorry if that's loud in your monitors. All right, the Latin. I don't know what what's different about this one. Maybe it's the attack on it. Let's play something romantic. We have that mariachi type of trumpet. I, I love it. There's so much you can do with this. By the way, you can you can control the vibrato. Here's a Miles Davis trumpet with the Harmon wah mute. This one uses a half valve transition as well. All right, and then the next one is Satchmo, Louis Armstrong. I love the muted tone on this, or the mellow tone. And then back to the initial. All right, let's get into the details of this. So down here we have um, uh, different articulations that a trumpet can create, like flutter tongue. And then um, I'll give you an example of that. So you're basically creating that ripping sound in the air with your tongue, like. And you can control that in real time. You can assign this a, a MIDI number um, or to a MIDI controller by pressing this button up here when you do that you get these uh these colored boxes around the articulation and the green ones will tell you that that has not been assigned pink will tell you or magenta whatever can tell you that it has been assigned already so i'm going to assign this by simply clicking on it moving the knob or fader that i want to use and it immediately controls it or it's immediately assigned it and i love this the simplicity of this this makes it uh quicker to get the instrument working the way that you want it so i'm going to start controlling that flutter all right then i'm going to go back and here we have growl i'm going to assign this the next number cc15 uh oh uh unassigned there you go. So growl is like a distortion in the sound. Um, I'm not sure how you do that on trumpet. I forgot. It's been a while since I've played. Then we have breath noise. So the air that is escaping through the side of your mouth while you play. Um, this is very popular in jazz, especially if you're playing really soft music. You want to hear that air sometimes. Uh, it's a really nice sound. I'm going to put that on the next channel. This is easier to hear in the lower velocities, by the way.
I'm not sure if YouTube's compression is going to allow you to hear this, but I'm going to try to play as quietly as possible. So this is without... amazing and then mute control let me just assign this to number 17 real quick mute control is going to control the distance of the mute the at least the mutes that are not fixed so this is not going to do anything for the straight mute because you put the straight mute inside however the harmon mute because it's a wah um, you can actually make it go back and forth so like this and it also applies to the cup, which is, I think it's a plunger. <laughs> and then your hand, so that you can, that can move it like that. So let's go through those and, and listen to them. Let's listen to the next one. And then the hand. All right. So that felt kind of slow to me, like the, the response. The cool thing is that you can actually go in and fix that in the advanced settings. You can set the curve, so make it go quickly to to that um, to that high point. So they have these custom curves, but you can also change it yourself here, and then save it. So those are great features right here. Um, you can also change from valve to slide. So let me play that for you. So they have a different attack to them. Then you can go into the into this menu right here where you can get into more detail about the sound. Make it your own. Like here we have the expression pedal. You can set vibrato depth and even MIDI assign that by using the same step as before. And then once you're done with that, just simply click X and then you're back into your normal mode where it's not gonna, nothing's gonna be affected. Um, vibrato rate. PP attack noise. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a junior high kid. PP attack noise. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what that means. Um, let's find out. So it doesn't seem to. You know what? That might have to do with the dynamic. I'm not sure. Let me let me lower this all the way. It might mean pianissimo. It might be my brain tricking me, but I thought I felt, I thought I heard a little bit more attack right here. Don't know. Okay, attack tongue. That's gonna give it that harder hit in the uh, the initial noise. That does feel softer. So if you're doing a lot of solos like jazz stuff, you're gonna want a higher attack sound. Or if you're playing a lot of uh, more slurred stuff, you probably want a lower attack. Then flutter tongue, we already assigned that. I forgot which one it was. There you go. Growl. Reactivity, not sure what that is. Um, mute control. All right, and we already assigned mute control. And then play modes, um, valves, slides, pipe gesture fixed. Um, here you can choose half valve transition or half valve. And then you can change your mutes. You can also MIDI assign this so that you can 
change them just by um, turning your knob. Half valve amount. Like there's just so much control that you have over every single parameter. Pedal notes, pipe selection, uh, timbre. You can change the brightness of the sound. Breath noise, dirtiness. Let's see what that does. I think I have a mute on it. Let me check. Let me take that off. It's probably going to be easier to hear it now. Yeah, this sounds brighter. You want that bright sound for like salsa, brass, uh, whereas like the muted or the more mellow tones are going to be for um, things like smooth jazz, not smooth jazz, um, lounge jazz, and maybe even mariachi. There's so many different things you can use it for. Mute size, mute tone, dynamic sensitivity. You could even change the tuning from the master tuning down to individual notes. This is crazy. And then you can change the pitch wheel. Right now it's set to an octave. In the advanced menu, you have anti-phasing. So if you have multiple tracks with the same trumpet, it's not going to cancel out the frequencies if you if you choose like um, choose different numbers. So if I had both of them set to one, then you're going to hear that phase cancellation, which you don't want. Um, but if you have one set to one and one set to two, then it's going to sound like two different trumpet players. Okay, and then you have your ADS, ADSR type of controls here. Like, there, there's so much to this. Oh, also, uh, this software is um, compatible with, it's NKS compatible, so you can open it up if you have a control keyboard, and you can out sample the sounds before you play them. And it is also MPE compatible. This is MIDI uh, polyphonic expression. So if you have a rolly keyboard, I forgot the other one, but you have um, the ability to control pitch, vibrato, and multiple um, multiple parameters with just the keys. So that's really cool. So I'm going to look at the comments really quickly. Flutter valve. I see flutter tongue, but what about flutter valve technique? Um, not sure what that is. Is that whenever you... I don't know if that's whenever you uh, do a fluttering sound by slightly depressing the key really quickly. Not sure. But anyway. So you could use MPE or just a legacy, which is just your standard MIDI. Attack control, very hard, soft expression. Portamental control, you can use it by velocity or... Um, the CC number. So right now I have it set to velocity like I showed you earlier to where the speed at which I press the second note is going to determine the speed of the slide. And then breath control mode on. I think breath control mode is if you have the little, uh, there's this mouthpiece that you can buy. It's it, so that you can actually blow the notes. It's pretty cool. I've never ever used one, but I've seen it used and you can get a lot of expression out of that. All right. So let's see if there's anything else and then you can save these settings. By the way, the installation of this was pretty quick. Um, it's only about 60 megabytes. So this thing takes a very little space. On your hard drive this is uh, the feature of the newest update to it it's that it's smaller it's supposed to work a lot faster so i have multiple tracks of this and it i don't have any issues any lag nothing like that um down here you have it shows you the range of your instrument you could of course you can click on this and increase or transpose it the way that you want and it also has an effects section Compressor, bell angle, uh, EQ, and reverb. It's very, 
like everything that you need basically to perform. By the way, I used this at one of my gigs and <laughs> um, one of the guys in the band that used to play trumpet in there, he was so amazed by this and he's going to actually buy it because you can play a really high note forever. You know, it's not going to get tired. So all the trumpet players out there, just uh, just accept it. Okay. Swam instruments are crazy. Yeah, they're amazing. Just looking at swam brass. So let me go through these one more time and I'm going to actually show them to you. Flugelhorn is one of my favorite instruments. Whoops, I was doing some weird things with my foot. This one has a very warm tone to it. Friends, you can get lost in this instrument and it sounds great on a track and I'll maybe when I have time I'll I'll show you how it sounds with um with other instruments. My only gripe about this is that it's a monophonic instrument, but that's what it's designed for. I wish that you could it had a way of splitting the notes while you're playing. Um there are other sample libraries or there are other libraries that do that where they'll automatically split the instrument based on the harmony that you're that you're playing. However, what it does as a monophonic instrument is the most incredible thing I've ever heard and I've ever played for a trumpet. It's very expressive and it sounds great on your DAW and live as a performer. So if you're a keyboardist, this is like a dream come true. I've played I've looked for so many trumpets and brass instruments over the years that would sound real and this is the most realistic in my opinion this is 250 dollars for the trumpets so trumpets again it includes piccolo trumpet in c trumpet in b flat flugelhorn and flugelhorn in e flat let me read some of your comments before i go since we're just looking at swan brass um, to create your own ensemble you can't create your ensemble within the plugin. You'll have to uh, open up a new track, a new instance of the of Swam Trumpets. That way, you can create your um, your group or your section. Um, unfortunately, you can't say, "Okay, add two or three trumpets right here." It doesn't doesn't work that way. So you'll have to do everything separately. These really show the real potential of physical modeling of the samples. You can create your own. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's always a trade-off between physical modeled instrument, physically modeled instruments and sampled. With a sampled instrument, you have the real tone, um, the real timbre of an instrument. Everything about it is is real, except for the expression. Unless you have something that has many, many sampled layers. Um, but even then, th there's always something missing about it, like controlling the, the amount of vibrato, or the the resonance, um, it doesn't just it doesn't respond the way that this does. Whereas physically modeled instruments, sometimes you can hear that they lack a certain human characteristic. They lack the flaws in a real instrument, or the subtleties, the quick changes in um, like air pressure or embouchure, things like that. Those are hard to replicate in real time. However, this allows you to control multiple parameters after you've um, recorded the notes you can edit those things in the midi editor so i think that's a, a great option how does this compare to trumpets three by sample modeling you know what i've heard of sample modeling but i've never used their stuff maybe i should reach out to them and 
ask them if they'd be willing to give me an NFR license. Sounds good. Well, friends, um, I don't have time for any more questions. My wife is going to be home soon, and I don't want this video to be interrupted by that. But anyways, I will see you next time. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. Um, hit that like button. I always forget the order of, of, of this. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this product. Uh, hopefully, I'll have time this week to, to talk about the French horns and the lower brass. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.